Hey everybody, I'm Matt Pearsall and today I'm going to be showing you guys um, sound design in Ableton. I've become a big fan of sound designing in Ableton, specifically with the drum rack. And just to keep it short, uh, I've gone ahead and prepared most of the samples that I've brought in to the drum rack. And you can pan through the drum rack with the uh, ribbon or by hitting octave up, octave down. So it's a great way. Essentially you can pull in 64 sounds into this thing with independent effects. So let's just go through kind of what I have going on. Uh, the way I set up my session is I have a, what I call sound effects main, which is, all it is is a drum rack right now. And I go through, if we go through each of these samples, this like for example this one, this little, this has uh, a saturator and a reverb on it that I can control independently which is really nice. You can kind of scroll through. You can basically sort of independently affect everything here. Um, but yeah, I really like this because it's a real performance. It kind of brings the performance back to sound design, which is something that I feel is missing from it. So the sound we're making today is a level up sound for a space game. The way I set up my session is I have this drum rack here that's got all of my samples where they eventually end up. I've got what I call my final. Um, this is where I know that when I read the, the output from Ableton, all my finals are here and I can go in and edit those. Typically I do it in Adobe, Adobe Audition. Uh, it just gives you a little bit more granular control and lets you double check all your files. Um, and then I usually have a group called Source Creation, and this has a couple of MIDI tracks in it, and uh, this is something that I really like uh, to do. I'll just sort of bring in um, a sample, and then I'll have these effects on here, and because I have the effects on here, I'll be able to sort of like create source material. So let me just show you real quick what that looks like. This sample is from Medieval Weapons Library by Boom, uh, which I really like that library. I think it's pretty fantastic. Uh, so I'm just going to take this. Right now it's warped, and I know a lot of people don't like that. I don't always typically warp my sound, so I'm trying to do something that needs to be clean and uh, represent real life. But for this, it doesn't really matter because I'm kind of making I'm making something abstract right now. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll throw these on, and I'll just start playing the sample. So sample's playing. And let me uh, let me throw a compressor on here to kind of bring up this volume. So I'm just going to record this right now. So I've got this set up here, and now I can just kind of... So cool, yeah, I've got something that I'm like, okay, yeah, that's something that could work within this sound. So now I'm gonna go back here, you, you get back to this drum rack by hitting note. Um, I'm gonna pull this sample into an empty slot and then find something that I like. Kinda like that one, it's sort of weird, but I think that could work. Actually, that's the one. So yeah, I'm back here, I'm going to turn this up, and we're just going to start with this. Um, I can want to show you one more thing. This is 
the same sound. So this is some little bits I recorded from Massive earlier. Uh, and then I've just got them transposed up for each pad so that I can do kind of a level up. Uh, make it a little bit more gamey. But yeah, we'll start, we'll start with this. And now we've got a two phrase loop going. I just want a one phrase for now. So I'm gonna go back here to length. I'm gonna cut the length in half. And something that some people hate about this is that it constantly loops, but I actually like to work like that because it keeps me really focused and in the moment. So this, this sound right here, I like that. Um, I want that to kind of sustain out. So let's just grab, for now, just for simplicity, I'm gonna be mainly using stock Ableton plugs today. All right, yeah, I kind of like that. That's uh, that's actually considering that you know I I made that source really quick. I'm I uh, I'm pretty into that. I like that too. But the beautiful thing about this, so I like this. I'm gonna call this uh, concept one. I'm gonna record that in. mute this and I'm just gonna start from scratch here on concept two and now that we have this you know it's it's not ideal that you you might want to be a little bit more um, organized with your sessions but, but for me I can kind of figure it out if I really mess something up peeking out here. So for that, um, I'm going to personally, this is this is not, well, you know what, I want to use just Ableton stock for now. I'm just going to throw a limiter on there, but I'm not going to slam it too hard. Another thing I find really useful is when you get too loud, 
you can I use this utility this is when I'm working fast if you want to get really tweezy quick you can just go in here to each thing that's actually playing and manually turn down and adjust the volume but for now I'm just gonna basically run this utility so it's uh, gained minus let's do six just to be safe and then we'll pull it back to So let's record that in. And let's listen back to the uh, two creations we've just made. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a really, really, really super quick overview of how I'm using the drum rack. Uh, we'll get more detail later, but this is just kind of a general concept. Thanks.